Can you get a good chest and biceps workout with minimal equipment? How about in a bare bones home gym? I don't know, bro. I don't remember the scene in Pumping Iron where Arnold was benching in his living room. You need a gym, right? The truth is, some dumbbells, exercise bands, and your body weight alone are enough to build your chest and your bi bi biceps. Try this routine if you're training at home or anywhere else you can't get your hands on a barbell or machines. The exercises in the workout are organized into pairs, marked A and B. Perform a set of the A exercise, rest, then perform a set of the B exercise, rest again, and repeat until all sets are complete for each move in the pair. Then go on to the next pair and do the same thing. You'll do three sets of 15 reps for each exercise. 1A, feet elevated push-up. Push-ups work your chest, but when you elevate your feet in a bench or boxes, you recruit more of the upper chest muscle fibers, the same way you do if you were performing an inclined bench press. Step one, get into push-up position with your hands shoulder width apart and rest your feet on a bench or boxes so that your body is angled toward the floor. Step two, keeping your body in a straight line and your core braced, lower yourself until your head is just above the floor and then push back up. 1B, resistance band stretch curl. Curling with a band that pulls from behind you puts more tension on the biceps and their lengthened position, an effect you don't get from conventional barbell and dumbbell curls. Step one, anchor a resistance band to a sturdy object behind you and hold the free end in one hand, allowing the band to pull your arm behind your torso. Stagger your stance for balance. Step two, without moving your upper arm forward, curl the band until your biceps are fully contracted. Complete your reps on that arm and then switch arms and repeat. 2A, single arm incline dumbbell chest press. Here's some more work for the upper part of the chest and you don't even need an incline bench to do it. Step one, if you have an adjustable bench, set it to a 30 to 45 degree incline. If you don't have a bench that inclines, elevate the head of it on some mats or weight plates. Hold a dumbbell in one hand and lie back on the bench with the weight at shoulder level. Step two, press the dumbbell over your chest. Complete your reps on that arm and then switch arms and repeat. 2B, standing single arm preacher curl. You can use a flat bench here or really any sturdy flat object to sub for a preacher curl bench. Just elevate it so that your armpit can rest at the top. The preacher curl stresses the biceps in their shortened position and makes for a very strict movement. Step one, incline your bench or elevate the surface you're using so you can brace the top of your arm against it. Check that your forearm won't be completely vertical at the top of the movement. That would mean your wrist and elbow are stacked and there's no tension in the biceps. Step two, hold the dumbbell and curl the weight with strict form. Complete your reps and then repeat on the other arm. Sometimes you don't feel focused and alert in the gym and your workout can suffer as a result. Alpha Brain contains research-backed ingredients that support mental focus and can help you think more clearly under stress. It's the ultimate way to get in the zone before you hit the gym. Use the coupon code GETONIT to get 10% off Alpha Brain on onnit.com. Now let's get back to the video. 3A, Seated Band Press. This move mimics a cable press exercise. An advantage here over pressing with free weights is that the bands keep tension on the pecs at the end range of motion, rather than letting the tension drop off, which is what happens when you reach lockout on a dumbbell or barbell press. Step one, attach resistance bands to a sturdy object at about waist height and grasp the open ends in each hand. Sit with your back braced against a bench or a sturdy chair. You can also do the exercise standing. Step two, Press the bands as if they were dumbbells, bringing your hands together to meet in front of your chest. 3B, Arnold Concentration Curl. This is an old school move we all owe the governator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, for popularizing. The concentration curl really lets you stretch the biceps in the bottom position and allows you to really focus on the muscle while you're training it. <laughs> Step one, stand and hold onto a bench or other sturdy object for stability. Hold a dumbbell in your other hand and bend at the hips. Allow your working arm to hang. Step two, without moving your upper arm much, curl the weight to a full contraction and control its descent back down. Complete your reps and then repeat on the opposite side. And remember, it's not a tumor, not a tumor at all. It's just your biceps getting really swole. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and see a link to all of our chest and biceps workouts in the description below.